What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for Colorado. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But as always before we preview their schedule let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you will love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Colorado has been one of the main talks around college football for the last week or so. The whole Cromani McLean and Deion Sanders situation is actually crazy. And I might have to make a video talking about that soon. But also Deion Sanders is making pretty big moves in the transfer portal right now. And that may be flying under a lot of people's radars. But today we are previewing the 2024 college football schedule and they have a brutal schedule so if Colorado wants to level up, they are going to have to be a lot more physical at the line of scrimmage. And that starts with having an offensive line that can protect Shadir Sanders and an above average defense could also help this team out. They have some of the pieces necessary to take a step up in 2024. And like I said, Deion Sanders is doing a fantastic job in the transfer portal. And he has a top 6 transfer portal class in the nation. And he isn't the best recruiter but 5 star Jordan Seaton should really help out on the offensive line. And Colorado returned 72% of production next season. And Colorado only went 4-8 and eight last season. So it is going to be interesting to see if they can take a step up with some of the new faces at the line of scrimmage. But anyways let's get into predicting their schedule. And they open the season playing North Dakota State on a Thursday. And North Dakota State has been one of the best FCS programs over the last 13 years. And they are definitely a team that is capable of upsetting Colorado. The last time I checked, Colorado was around 7-8 to eight point favorites, which is pretty fair to me. And as long as Deion Sanders has his team ready to play, then I think Colorado should be able to win this game at home in a packed house. It would be pretty entertaining if Colorado got upset to open the season against an FCS school. But I'm going to say Colorado will win this game, and I have Colorado move it to 1-0 on the season. The next game for Colorado is on the road against Nebraska. Nebraska is a team that got completely destroyed with injuries last season. And they didn't even have a quarterback that could throw more touchdowns than interceptions. So they basically played last season without a quarterback. But next season is a fresh start for Nebraska. And Matt Rule has taken a step up in every year two head coaching job he's been in. And if Nebraska takes a step up next season, they would finally get over that hump. And they would make a bowl game. And Matt Rule has a very good track record that shows a lot of positives. And I don't want to be too optimistic, but I think their floor could potentially be a bowl game and their ceiling could potentially be 8 or 9 wins. I'm pretty high on this Nebraska team heading into next season because the schedule is favorable and they have a 5-star quarterback in Dylan Riola. And they also have a defense that returns 78% of production and that defense is led by Tony White, who is one of the top defensive coordinators in the country. And I like this Nebraska team as a whole and all they need is a quarterback that can get the job done and they will be much better than last season. And I think Nebraska is going to avenge their loss from last season. So I have Colorado losing this game on the road and move it to 1-1 one one on the season. The next game for Colorado is on the road against Colorado State. Similar to Nebraska, Colorado State has a coach with a pretty solid track record because Jay Norvell turned a garbage Nevada football team around. But now he's trying to do the same with this Colorado State team. And I do expect Colorado State to take another step up next season. And last season, Colorado State versus Colorado was honestly the most overwatched game in sports history. But it was an awesome game regardless, and it should be a fun game again. But I do think Colorado will beat Colorado State again. So I have Colorado move it to 2-1 on the season. The next game for Colorado is at home against Baylor. Baylor's head coach could potentially be in the hot seat after back-to-back -back losing seasons. And if there is anybody that can help turn this team around, then it has to be four-star chance for portal quarterback Daquan Finn from Toledo. But Baylor has a lot of things to figure out on both sides of the ball, and I do think Colorado should win this game at home, so I have Colorado move it to 3-1 and on the season. The next game for Colorado is on the road against UCF. UCF actually has a lot of potential going forward. They have a top 2 2024 and 2025 Big 12 recruiting class, but they also did a great job in the transfer portal, and they brought in KJ Jefferson at quarterback, and KJ Jefferson should be a great fit for this team. UCF also returns RJ Harvey at running back and receiver Kobe Hudson. UCF now has the third best transfer portal class in the Big 12. And they recently brought in big defensive additions. They brought in a four-star edge rusher from Miami. And they brought in a safety from Ohio State. And I think UCF is set up to have a lot of success going forward. So I have Colorado losing this game on the road and I have Colorado move it to 3-2 on the season. 
And following their game against UCF, Colorado will have a bye week and then they play at home against Kansas State. And Kansas State could potentially be the best team in the Big 12 Conference next season. They return 80% of production on defense and they have a high upside quarterback with Avery Johnson going forward. They have consistently been a top contender in the Big 12 recently and they actually won the Big 12 championship back in 2022. And Texas and Oklahoma are both now leaving the Big 12 Conference and Kansas State may just be the best bet to win the Big 12 in 2024. And I definitely have Colorado losing this game at home and moving to 3-3 three three on the season. The next game for Colorado is on the road against Arizona. And Arizona lost their head coach and a bunch of talent to the transfer portal. And a lot of people expect them to take a step down. But I still believe they are going to be a very good team and they are going to compete near the top of the Big 12. They returned Fafita and McMillan on the offensive side. and They are one of the best quarterback receiver duos in all of college football. They also returned their leading tackler on defense, Jacob Manu. And I'm still pretty high in this Arizona team, and I think Colorado will lose this game on the road, so I have Colorado move it to 3-4 and four on the season. The next game for Colorado is at home against Cincinnati. Cincinnati wasn't that good last season as they only went 3-9, and nine. and I don't expect them to be very good next season either. They brought in 18 players from the transfer portal, including four-star quarterback Brendan Sorsby. Brendan Sorsby should be a decent addition for this team, but Cincinnati is going to have a lot of new faces, and I do not expect them to take a big step up. And I think Colorado should definitely win this game at home, so I have Colorado move it to 4-4 four and four on the season. And following their game against Cincinnati, Colorado will have a bye week, and then they play on the road against Texas Tech. And I think Texas Tech has a very bright future in the Big 12. They have the number one Big 12 recruiting class in 2024, and that class is led by five-star receiver Micah Hudson. Joey McGuire has also done a solid job in the transfer portal, and he brought in Josh Kelly from Washington State. And Josh Kelly and Micah Hudson are two very talented receivers. But Texas Tech also has a rising star at quarterback and they return one of the best running backs in the country, Taj Brooks. Texas Tech won 7 games last season and I expect them to be pretty solid next season. And they are a team that is capable of winning the Big 12 championship within the next 5 years, but I don't think they are quite there yet. And I actually think Colorado will win this game on the road. And I have Colorado move it to 5-4 and four on the season. The next game for Colorado is at home against Utah. And Utah returns 72% of production next season. They returned Cam Risen at quarterback who helped lead them to back-to-back Pac-12 championships in 2021 and 2022. And Utah also has new transfer portal receivers Dorian Singer and Tayshawn Lyons, and they also returned Micah Pittman Jr. And I believe that this offense as a whole is destined to take a step up with Cam Risen back, and the defense is also going to be very good like it always is, so this is definitely a team that is capable of winning the Big 12 championship in 2024. And I think Colorado should be outmatched in this game, so I have Colorado losing this game and move it to 5-5 five and five on the season. The next game for Colorado is on the road against Kansas, and Kansas will probably have one of the best offenses in the Big 12 next season. They do return Jalen Daniels at quarterback, and they return Devin Neal at running back. The offensive line loses multiple starters, but they brought in some solid transfers, and Kansas should still be a very solid team next season. They have a head coach that could get a bigger and more prestigious job anytime he wants to, but he has stayed loyal to this Kansas team, and Kansas could potentially be a sleeper team to win the Big 12 in 2024, and I could see this game going either way between Colorado and Kansas. But Colorado has this game on the road, so I have Colorado losing this game and move it to 5-6 and six on the season. And the final game of the season for Colorado is at home against Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's win total is only at 7.5, which does not make a lot of sense to me, because this is a team that is top 4 in the country for return and production, and they just made the Big 12 championship game last season. They also returned the best running back in the country, Ollie Gordon, and Mike Gundy should keep this Oklahoma State team near the top of the Big 12 in 2024. But I'm going to say Colorado will upset Oklahoma State at home to become bowl eligible. So I have Colorado finishing the season with a 4-5 and conference record and a 6-6 six and six overall record. And I know I was a bit optimistic with this prediction, and I had Colorado beating teams like Texas Tech and Oklahoma State, but I think Colorado is going to take a step up. I don't expect Colorado to be a top contender in the Big 12 though, because they still lack depth, and they have a lot of concerns on the defensive side. But I think 6-6 six and six is a fair prediction for Colorado in 2024. And I think that they do have enough talent to make some noise in the Big 12. But anyways, you guys let me know how many games you think Colorado will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel.
so definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.